Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and join me. I really appreciate you so much. Sagittarius, this is for you. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Oh, and a couple of things that have been channeled, uh, like right before I did kind of a pre-card shuffle there. We're going to do something different. They showed me a layout. It's going to be kind of awesome, but they said they're naming names. Sagittarius, they're about to tell you the nitty gritty of whatever this is energy coming towards you for you just get ready is what i just heard they are naming names time for fun which means they're going to be specific they're going to be very specific you you have an angel guide around you i feel that it's very loud very present right now sagittarius they're telling you that there's something it's time it's going to bring you into something better whatever this is see don't do it leave it alone oh that's interesting time for fun Use your intuition. Don't do it and leave it alone. What is that? That's like, ooh, what are you saying? Okay, I, I have to get away from. What is it that you're choosing to let go of? Um, Venus is getting ready to go into Capricorn. There's going to be a lot of energy that's going to happen here. Okay, and Venus is also getting ready to go retrograde too. So it's really asking yourself, did you let something go, Sagittarius? Did you choose to let something go? And are you trying to go back to it? That's what this is. Work related. Okay. Don't do it. Leave it alone. Even if it's work related. Interesting. Interesting. They said they're naming names. Hold on. Time for fun. Use your intuition and give me one more. Give me one more here. Somebody's trying to get you some sort of spiritual message here. And you can't make it up. You guys are too. I think I already did the Pi no, it wasn't Pisces. I did the Libra reading. This right here, this full moon is actually coming towards like the 19th of the month. Okay. This is only like a bi-monthly reading. So we'll have another one as we get into that. Yeah, they said it's smart to do that for you, Sagittarius. That's what I'm feeling. Ooh, this energy is off the chain. There's going to be an eclipse on the full moon. Okay. It's going to be in Taurus where there's a lot of, of that retrograde Venus energy, right? Taurus is actually ruled by Venus. Hmm, you guys, oh, I can feel this coming through the cards. I want something there. They keep showing me cards up here, like in a challenge. Leo energy. Mm -hmm. What are you getting ready to do? Is your ego in the way with something that's going on here? The eclipse is the sun and the moon. Something has to change, okay? For some of you guys, I'm picking up on an energy where somebody carries possibly opposite signs here, sun and moon sign. If you guys carry the same sign, sun and moon, um, more than likely there's a lot of conflict in the life that you carry. The, I'm feeling like some of you guys might be more balanced, more some than others. And there's someone around you that is causing issues here because I feel the challenge. And when I said challenge, this Leo energy came out. So for some of you guys, this could also be sexual frustration as well. But something is going to be let go of. That's what I'm telling you. What are you going to be creating though? What is the challenge here? True love. Yeah, a love offer. Wow, that's a love offer. Loving the fact that you're also very single. Being emotionally balanced here. There's a mental scarring here, though. Mm -hmm. Someone has to let some sort of deceit go. I always think of the king of hearts with this particular card because he has the, you know, the sword in his head. Like somebody might, ooh, you can't even make it up. Somebody might be using some very brutal words here. Um, somebody might be saying something to you so that they can be deceptive. Uh, it could be a Leo. It could be a Leo that is angry is what I'm picking up on here. Yeah. Yep. A gift from the universe and Virgo so with this gift from the universe this is a blessing to show you that there needs to be some sort of change 
Leo and Virgo. I told you, they're naming names. They are calling people out for you, Sagittarius. But this is also could be your energy. If you have Leo and Virgo highly aspected in your, in your chart, this is your time. This is your blessed energy. Whatever it is that the Spirit is guiding you to release and let go of, it's going to feel so much better when you do. Yes, see, Piscean energy, right? Here's the other thing. This is like someone being upset. Okay, I don't necessarily think that it's you, but I do know that there's someone here who could be extremely harsh with whatever these words are that are getting ready to come. Okay, and that might be you, Sagittarius. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to tell someone you are single and you are not dealing with anyone's deceptive energy. Okay, they're saying to you, Spirit says, just take time. Take time and relax here. Use your intuition about what's coming with this ending here. Because mm -hmm. someone's not telling the truth. Right? Somebody, and there's another thing. You also need to, to understand that someone here, yeah, there could be some sort of lack. Someone could be trying to take your money here. Somebody could be trying to take something from you and be very, very deceptive. Um, there's also going to be some sort of legal energy that's around this. There's someone who's trying to, I don't know, like take some sort of legal action to make someone go away, do something along those lines. But it's, again, it's very deceptive. Let me see. What else do we have here? It's a lady. Okay. Using your intuition. That's interesting. The divine feminine energy releasing a Virgo. Letting it go completely and understanding that this has to happen. Listen, I let me get one. What's underneath the Virgo? Okay, so there's going to be a Virgo coming in here to have some sort of, I don't know. There's a, there's a conversation. There's a conversation that's coming in here and... I feel like your emotional balance at this time with this challenge energy up here is to know, to know with this King of Swords that this harshness and, you know, somebody being very disgusting is kind of what I'm feeling. And it's not you. I feel it's this energy. It's, it's this person that wants to come in like they're totally perfect, like they don't do anything wrong. Remember, we saw that Leo energy. That Virgo Leo energy is a very controlled um, person that, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even, you know, look, there's some sort of union. Oh, okay. And Taurus. See, like I said, that Venus retrograde is going into Taurus. There's somebody here who's thinking about this relationship. Maybe they want to come in and talk to you. This has been a challenge for you because you you possibly were dealing with somebody that um, was was playing and wasn't telling the truth in the relationship. And this person is is very non emotional. You know what I mean? Like they, I don't know. It's they basically don't just they just don't give a damn. They don't give a damn what kind of problems they cause either with these lies. Oh, wow. Hold on. I told you they're naming names in this reading. Sagittarius, tell me about these eight of swords. They're trying to keep somebody stuck. Somebody's also lying about some sort of legal matter here. Someone is going to try to do something. And here again is a earth sign energy. There's some, yeah, see, somebody is lying about a legal matter here not telling the truth and somebody's trying to control somebody here emotionally right why is this why do they want to keep you in this energy i mean it looks like they love you though but there's there's a lie here and it's it's this time for fun is somebody wants to keep somebody on the side something like that and i don't sagittarius i don't see you being interested in this i see that this, whatever this is, it's a very depressed, depressing type of energy. I also see that you could have a Pisces around you because uh, we did see that Pisces card. I'm not going to, you know, let that go. Wow, this is interesting how they're naming names, right? You could have a Pisces energy around you that is manifesting on you, trying to cause confusion towards you. There's um, This person is actually attempting and investing to come at you to bring you some sort of stuck blocked energy they are um i feel like if you 
I don't know, Sagittarius, I think the only real warning here is that you do have somebody around you. Like if this is your energy with this, this here, you, I feel like you need to watch your money because somebody might try to put you in between a rock and a hard place when it comes to how something's supposed to work out here. And they, this is what that person is trying to manifest upon you. And I don't see, and because this is your challenge, you really have to face this. But yeah, I don't, I don't see that you are willing to deal with this. I see that this is what the challenge is for you is not getting stuck and stagnant. This part, someone's going to come in and tell you that they miss you. They are. Someone's going to come in and tell you that they miss you. You also have a Capricorn energy here. But whatever it is that this person is offering you, it's it's toxic. And I also feel like they're saying, please reject what this is. Use your intuition about, you know, if this person really does miss you, then leaving them be. And if another person was like somehow in the mix, whatever that was. And oh, OK, that makes sense. You, some of you, this is not for all of you, but for some of you guys, you have someone around you that is stuck in some sort of cycle and they're deceptive anyway. So I feel like this person's magic doesn't necessarily work on them. It's a, it's a different person, right? And the, the trap that's being set for them, it's just, it's like they keep, I don't know, they just keep coming back to you for some reason, but whoever it is that they're with is, is just messing up their head if that makes sense what's here the capricorn energy it's real toxic you know it's it, this person this is not someone who wants to yeah see what i'm saying it's the virgo i told you it's a very toxic energy around this person that's just trying to keep you from having your blessings being able to use your intuition so it like it goes bye bye like no like you don't need to lose your intuition you need to stay the divine feminine or masculine that you are. I mean, I'm picking up on a feminine energy here. You don't need to miss your energy. I just, this person is going to tell you that they miss you. They want to see you, but then there's something toxic around them as well with this Capricorn energy. They've got someone else in their energy. Boo. Yeah, they do. Man, you can't make it up. Three of swords. Their intent is to cause pain. So, I mean, if you're a cross watcher and you're watching for a Sagittarius and you're a Virgo, I'm literally snitching you out because you're done. I, this toxic energy, this painful, you know, the, the depression, the rejection, just to see if you can keep somebody stuck in a cycle of lying. Hell no, Sagittarius is about to bounce and possibly find marriage and commitment with someone else. See, look, Nunu, Sagittarius, you about to get that Nunu. See, time for fun, use your intuition. You know, you've got people coming back around. There's definitely something coming with this full moon. I promise you. So let's see. Okay. I, this person wants to hold on to you. They don't want you going anywhere. And they might be real nasty about it too with that king of swords. You know, when they come in. But look, karma. See, look. Mm, we saw it at the beginning of the reading. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Beginning of the reading. It said, don't do it. Leave it alone. What goes around comes around. Leave this person alone. If they have been playing you, won't do right by you, won't even do right by themselves. As a matter of fact, I don't know why, but I feel like this person is dirty. And when I say dirty, I mean they need some spiritual cleanse. Let, here, let me go ahead and hook y'all up. Because, um, oh man, is my lighter not in here? Because for real, what I'm picking up on, I must have moved it somewhere else. Spirit must have jokes. Watch it be in a different pocket or something. Anyway, I just lit it because I had to light the Palo. And, oh, no, there it is, baby. And it's pink for the Divine Feminine. See? Let me light this for you. And check this out. You know, because you guys are worth it. And I want you to know that whether you're the masculine or whether you're the feminine, you are worth taking this toxic energy, whether it's the person who's trying to come for you to keep you stuck in some sort of third party, or it's the person that's around them that's really throwing some sort of unexpected magic their way. I believe that's what it is. It's a very heavy manipulation with your other person and whoever it is that they're choosing to keep in this third party mix. You're rejecting this though. Being trapped, you see the deceit. You do. And if you guys aren't seeing this, then I don't know what to tell you. So take in this energy of this sage, all right? And it's like I always say, if you guys use stones, 
Here's the thing. You use stones to the point where you learn their energetic vibration and then you don't need them anymore. So you can be standing wherever it is, any place, any time that you need to and pull on an energy without actually having it, okay? I'm being shown to show you my ring. This is called amber. This is literally resin, okay? You got some of you guys, make sure you're picking up on amber. The other energy that I picked up the other day that would definitely bring in a lot of abundance and a lot of happiness here um, is called, I believe it's mukite, and it's M-O-O-K-A-I-T-E. And for some reason, I was just drawn to it like a very beautiful necklace. It was like a $600 necklace. I'm thinking, ooh, please let me put that on my bucket of, you know, spirit. I would love for you to make that happen for me. <laughs> so when, you know, when spirit is talking to us about the path that we need to be on, it's all good, it's all gravy, but we definitely see what this person is getting ready to try to do. Oh, let me see. Yep, look, magic expect the unexpected because there's and this is the thing you know when i'm talking about how we manifest with our words we manifest with blessings right this person is manifesting an emotional vibration towards you that is trying to keep you stuck in this energy they regret doing what they've done i will tell you that this is not the deck they want for you wow where are we going they're like up oh wow okay interesting i call this my respectable deck so i guess put some respect on it that's all that needs to happen at this point and i feel like you are going to be standing up for yourself and doing that because you're not going to let anybody come and bother you right see what i'm saying remember i told you somebody is trying to manifest something new i don't this could be babies you know the new moon energy here this could be babies but you know, I feel as if it's something that is a new cycle. It's something new that has been planted, okay? You need to be thinking about the vibration that's coming from whatever this energy is because it's like, this is your warning. It's kind of like, you know, you get the beep from the fire alarm and the fire alarm says, change me, change my battery, change the battery already. Don't let that just keep beeping because what you're doing is you're allowing this person's negative energy to block you you know don't let that that person's negativity come in you're supposed to be having fun and using your intuition all the way up through this Taurus energy right there could be something they're coming in to talk to you but you're on the right path here letting letting go is with this full moon man you can't make it up so this is going to be going on for a couple of cycles because we just saw the new moon here with whatever it is that's going to be blessed here. All right. So maybe after the full moon, you guys are going to be moving into November. Make sure you come back. Hit that like, share, and subscribe, by the way, if this is resonating for you guys because this needs to get out to a few people, I'm thinking. You know, divine feminine message here. This is very, very abundant. You know what? Not even that. This is actually very, very emotional too. Then this person comes in, they really do pull at your heartstrings. You're, you might even have to consider the fact come November, this person just might be bipolar and they might have a wolf side about them. And then they also have this loyalty about them that just drives you batty. I know it sounds weird, but it's like, uh-uh. I don't know if you guys ever remember that movie, Fern Gully. I'm thinking of the bat. Robin Williams type of energy. See what I'm saying? Robin Williams type of energy. Someone that just is mental. You know? Someone who acts single, lies. You know, I'm not saying Robin Williams was a lie, but, you know, I'm just saying the character. You know, not really sure what they want in life right but for some reason they're getting ready to come in and offer you some sort of marriage and commitment here yeah could be you also if you're letting this person go yep oh no they're remember we saw this with that virgo energy a gift from the universe you're getting ready to see, receive some sort of communication here if it's deceptive communication again it could be a little on the heartbreaking side you might be rejecting this particular person so they might choose someone else you know what? If you're rejecting somebody, it's for a good reason, Sagittarius, because you're too smart not to reject this person, okay? Anything else on this moon card that my Sagittarius is need to know? I think this person is just, like I said, they act single. 
emotionally not really available here. They come off as being someone who wants to be by themselves and they do it a lot. They're very deceptive. I, there, there's a mental headspace here. This person is mentally conflicted. What's at the bottom? Justice. Yeah, some sort of legal matter that's going to be taking place here because it's not the first time I saw that. This moon card, everything needs to come to light. It's time. It's time for it to come to light is what it feels like with this Venus energy here. Venus, compassionate energy, the divine feminine. Anything else? Five of Cups. Regret. Deception. Wow. Four of Cups again. Regret and deception. I miss you. It's a lady. Two of Cups. I just, I see that someone is not going to be able to get over whatever this energy is. It's, it's almost, this is spirit warning you saying, we are going to show you the signs of where you need to understand that this person still is not ready to dock this ship yet. Whatever this is, this person may love you and they may regret some of the things that they've done in your energy here. Um, or to you when they really should have been taking care of you and you used your intuition and set a different path. And so because you are releasing here, there's, there's something here where there's an energy right here in the middle where the divine feminine energy is like, I see, I went back to it again. Someone, it's like somebody might want to have a conversation here, but I would say don't give in to whatever this is. You, you, whatever this conversation is, it's meant to harm because the person is mentally unstable. Anything else on the page of coins? Four of swords. Yeah, like I said, leave it alone. Leave it alone. The only thing that's going to come from this release, again, King of Swords just came out. It's the truth. It's the truth. And the truth is, is like I said, this person is not ready to, to dock quite yet. I mean, if, if especially if they're doing the whole crumb thing, it's like someone has to learn a lesson that there has to be some sort of an ending. Someone is going to learn here that it might be too late to be with their Sagittarius. Seriously, because it's just, it's almost, I'm hearing an energy kind of like, what have you done? Um, but the truth needed to be said. See, you got Libra energy again. Um, there needed to be something that came out with whatever legal situation happened. Don't let somebody try to take advantage of you either. Um, you are supposed to be, yeah. You're supposed to be taken care of is what I feel. Page of Cups energy. Yeah, you, there's an emotional apology coming in here. Someone saying that they miss somebody very much. But I just, mm -mm. somebody's going to try to say that the crumbing is not happening or it's going to be ending here. And I see, that's what I'm saying. The five of cups again. And if you allow this person to play on your emotions with this five of cups, that's also here. That's the deception to try to come in with this offer, play on my Sagittarius's emotions here. Okay. You have temperance and five of cups. What is that? It's like a hole and it's almost like whatever it is, she's literally putting her foot in it and just wasting it, letting it go down the drain here or letting it go down this, I don't know, you know how to call this, I call this a whirlpool. And what's interesting is, is that everything that's going down in this whirlpool, it doesn't have to, right? Somebody's taking their time and it's almost like if they are to invest their time, Sagittarius, if you continue to invest your time here, you regret waiting. That's what I feel. That's what this would end up being. That's what they will continue to want you to do. See, look, look, but here's the thing. It's so interesting. There's something coming for you that's even better, but this five of swords is causing you issues. There's, there is some sort of of magic there's some sort of block that's coming in from this third party that's trying to stress you out here give me clarity on whatever this is give me clarity on what's coming in from this third party because i think we're already 24 minutes so for you know what and this age is still burning so i'm thinking with that capricorn energy we saw it's time for this truth to come out if this person is going to try to keep holding on to you all 
stops have to come out. Like this person has to change. And if they're not, it, it looks like the divine feminine would end up being stressed out here because of the crumbing. Just put an end to it. I mean, I'm just, I, it's going to be hard for some of you. It is, but this person acts single. They're not trying to be in a committed relationship. Don't worry about whatever it is that they're doing. Hold on. Page of swords. Page of swords. This other person is spying on you. Look at that. Okay, this is the third party energy that's on the outside. They're definitely watching you, right? They're spying on you and literally throwing at you. I told you. Yep. And they're waiting. They're waiting here to see if it's going to land. They're waiting to see if this negative energy um, is going to do what it wants it to do. They're going to keep trying to, oh my God, this is someone who's just really manipulative. This person is mental. Nine of Swords really trying to come for you. They want to see if what they've been working on is freaking you out. This is sick. It's twisted that this person would try to do that to you. And then not only that, when they find out the truth that you have already moved on and stepped into something new, just abundant, blessed. I mean, I'm looking at the mathematics behind all this right here. You figured it out. You listened to what spirit had to say about letting something go here. Might have broke your heart a little bit because, yeah, you were invested and it bothered you that this investment or whatever it was that ended. It does. But you know what? You got something better coming. OK, listen, let me let me see that five of swords. What is that? Tell me the page of swords, please. Someone's spying on you. Someone's also trying. Yeah, listen. The emperor. Yeah, okay. So the, the outside party is watching your person try to hang on to you. Yep, and they're doing work. They are doing work to try to get this emperor or whoever. Yeah, I feel like it's an emperor here. Um, it could be you, Sagittarius, you know, they're trying to do work to get this person to make some sort of choice here. Yeah. To make a final decision. And they're sitting back and watching how this person comes towards you and wants reconciliation with you because this is Cancerian energy. This is love. Yep. They're watching it. They're watching this person try to hold on to you. They know that this person comes back in and talks to you. So they're manipulating, probably trying to come in for you. Yeah, this third party has something to say about you, but really, I don't think that's your your problem. I know that you, at this point, though, there's, there's more than one secret because we have two full moons here. I definitely see, yep, Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So whoever this other person's options are, this person is deadly with this Ten of Swords. This person is a... Is a Mm -mm. physically will harm someone uh they'll, they'll verbally assault someone they'll do whatever it is that they want to do to make sure they get what they want but that's not going to end that way it's not going to end that way let me give me give me how this is going to end for my Sagittarius please November reading and then I will see you guys in mid-November as well yeah it's going to end with you you are you have been wounded there has been some pain just a little bit right but you know how to handle it, right? Because you already made the choice that you're not going to be dealing or moving forward with this. Holding on is not a good idea. It's a very immature action here. Okay. You don't see the point of it because you already know that, you know, anything that's fun or you giving into this particular person <clears throat> ends up in some sort of karma where there's always some sort of an apology that needs to happen here. See? Mm. Protect yourself. This is how this is going to end up. Page of Wands. I keep seeing it. Yep. And Four of Swords. Take action to go ahead and take that break you need to take. This person's going to keep coming back to you. They are. And you just need to know when it's time to hold on or when it's time to go. And right now, because of the betrayal that they're holding on to with somebody outside of whatever this is, it's too toxic for you to be dealing with. See what I'm saying? Make plans to take care of you. If this is your soulmate and not a karmic, then this person needs to do their healing, get rid of the garbage that they have around them. You don't need to be worried about this. This person needs to learn their truth. You need to learn your truth about the choices that you're making. Don't let other people stab you in the back. Vimeo extended link is going to be below because we're going to dig into both of these people and we're going to see how this happiness is coming out for you because there is someone coming in here. You have a soulmate coming in here. Like I said, I told you that you have already jumped through this 
this laurel wreath, the mathematics of how this is all going to work out is Sagittarius. You end up with your lover. You end up with your soulmate. You end up making the choice for you. Okay. Someone wanting to bring you conflict and you're going to handle it. You're already going to be out the door by the time this person even gets it off the ground. Oh, I love you Sagittarius. You guys are freaking beautiful. Vimeo extended link below. Friday Night Love Terror is your weekly. Peace and elbow grease.